Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see this sum in copy isometry. Now in this sum we need to do we need to use k2 is to 1. So length is 75. 12 plus 55 plus 8. 25 so I'll take 50 this is 12 12 so I'll take 24 24 so now you can see what I'm doing I'm taking it on that box so this is very important whenever you deal with such kind of isometric you draw layer front layer behind layer now in this it is 10 behind You draw this much. This is 28. So you take 56 from here. And then they have given 10. So you will take 20. Now we need to draw that slot. That inclined slot. For that I will take midpoint and I will go up by 8. No, no. I will go up by 16. If you can see earlier I made a mistake. So I deleted that part. So whenever you are using 2 is to 1 scale you need to be a little bit careful about your dimensioning. So in this it will be 16. And you take 60, 60 degree. So you need to draw this in orthographic. So always remember whenever you have an inclined slope you need to draw it outside and then you have to draw it inside. This is X. So you go up by 16. You draw a line. Then you take this distance X. And you cut it on left as well as right. It will be same on both the sides. So we are done with this part. After that, you take this line incline inside. Then you take all these points behind by how much? 60. So you take 60 from here, go up, you join this, same way you will join this also, so 
now we'll draw this part 10 20 10 sorry 5 20 10 5 25 so it is 10 40 10 here also I'll mark 10 40 10 and I will join this slope Now how much is this? 12. So we'll take 24. This is 40. So you take 20. Now from center point you will take 14, 14 because the radius is 7. So I will take 14, 14. And I will take that point behind. So this part is done. Here this much will be dark. Now we don't know this height. This height is 20. So I will take 20 from here. So I will take 40. Because we are using scale 2 is to 1. And then I will extend this sum. Sorry, I will extend this edge. It will be here. Wherever it will intersect with that slope. That much you need to draw it down. You join this then this is 40 so you take midpoint and you take 4 so we'll take 8 so 4 4 on both the side same down so this is what you will get now this circular part so you take height 16, you draw a line here, you take midpoint which is 30, see that. So from that point now we need to draw a circle of radius 12. So we will take 24, 24 on all the sides, all these points, see this from center we will take 12, 12. That is 24, 24. Here also we'll take 24, 24. And after that, we'll draw a parallel line. You join, then you join longest diagonal. And from the center, you'll join here as well as here. This is 4 center method. From here you take this distance and you draw R. Then from here we will draw this radius. After that we need the same thing down also. How much down? 8. So that is 16. So I'll take both the points down by 16. 
from where I had done earlier arc. I'll extend this slot. Now after that you take this radius, you go down by 16 and you draw R. Same way you take this radius, go down by 16 and you draw R. And you join this line down. So this is how you will get. Now we need to draw circle, half circle which is there at the top. So this is the center, we'll draw a line and we'll take 14, 14, draw a vertical line. Same way I need to mark 14 up, 14 down from this center. And you draw a line here like this. Then you draw longest diagonal. From this point, you join this way. So from here, you can draw this curve. And from here, you take this radius and you draw R. Same way. Now you take this point behind. Now how much you should go behind? Now at times here we know 25 minus 12, 13. But if you don't know, then you take this distance and you cut it over here. This is easiest. You know circle is going by this much behind distance. So you take that much distance behind and you draw arc. You copy the arc and you paste. So we are done with the copy isometric. I hope you people have understood this. Now wherever we have a circle, we will draw axis line. Thank you.